Hello again folks and welcome back to Let's Play Magi Nation for the Game Boy Advance. I'm your Game Master Darius. Last we left off, I had done a lot of random shenaniganry, and uh, as you can see, my Moss Parang is actually pretty decently leveled. Not as high level as my Wisp, though. As you can see, uh, he's... Hmm. Basically for every level... Oh, God damn it. For every level I got the my Wisp to go up, uh, or rather, every level that my Wasparine went up, uh, my Wisp would go up twice because I would happen to run enough, run into enough Ghost Wisps that I get more infused dynamite of it. So, yeah, I was doing the Wisp. I'm gonna just say Wisp because it has Heal and Flash. Heal is pretty self-explanatory. Flash, I believe, reduces the chance that something can, you know, hit ya, which is always good. Anyways, we're gonna go all the way back and do the good thing. And we were going to help this girl. Or Saiban. Right, I recall. Gotta go to her place. You're like, hey, we're here to help, and then go into her basement. Fun times are sure to be abound. Blip. Blip. All of those was always kind of fun in this. But did I not collect this? Hmm. Must not have. But I, yeah, when I was here before. I end up finding the kicking rocks again. We're going the wrong way. I think we're going the right way. Yep. Let's quickly save just out here, though. Very few and far between times when I end up finding myself in a situation where I'm in basically tip top shape. Hmm. What was that? You're coming with us. You two smell. Why should I go with you? Because I said so. Hehe, <laughs> that's funny. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, stop. Ah. Gruck? So concerned about the noises that were down here was not concerned enough about the noises that happened. And of course, empty new Quite literally says that every single chest that you find that is already opened, even ones that you have already opened. It's actually kind of funny. Oh. That's a glitch. <laughs> I think. Alright, this redu er, increases resistance, while also reducing luck, which is actually pretty freaking good. Hmm, we want to replace the bag of bones with it. Because again, lower luck would be good and, more co and allow for more consistent damage. And of course, higher resistance just means less dying to magical spells. I said, what the hell is there here? I know we should look for Gruck, but... Hey, this is familiar looking. Oh well. We'll figure out what it is later. Where'd she go? Hello? Oop. Alright. was about to go... Come forth, fiend, and only just realized that it was get more of these goddamn things. That. You know what I'm just realizing? And I don't suffer it myself, but there could be a little bit of a motion sickness thing when it comes to this game and it's moving around. What did you do with Gruck? 
What do you want from us? We want... Uh, I forgot. Oh, for crying out loud, we want a jink root. Flander... Flandersel? Uh... Shut up, sis. I'm in charge. I make them a demand. We want a jink root. Flamsel? Uh... 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 Gerbisol frond. Gerbil... Gerbisol blonde? And, uh... Black root. Black root! Uh... This is ridiculous. Anyway, if you want her back, you have to give us those things. Otherwise, you'll never hear from her again. <laughs> Incidentally, since he failed to mention it, we'll, we're in the abandoned tower through the tunnel to the north. Bring the items there if you want to save her. <laughs> we'll be... Let's go, Zach. Quit messing around. <laughs> I've never heard, even heard of those things. Me either. What are we going to do, Mot Motash? What's going to happen to Grok? I don't know. I just don't. What is all this noise here? Grok was just kidnapped by some really weird looking creatures. They were just in town making demands which we can't meet. Ork is very upset about it. Where'd they go? They said they were going to the abandoned tower through the tunnel to the north. I'll take care of this. Wait here. There's nothing in here. Is that the old one? Oh, God. I don't think I've been to all the buildings again. That happens every now and then. I'm sorry, is that some kind of beverage? Ah, it's locked. It won't be for long. Oh, you're the kid that wants to play the game. They all just lost. <laughs> Anyways. I think I did that already. Hmm. Where, oh where? Oh, hello. I'm sure Gorgor will return victorious. Eh, Gorgor is also a little bit of an idiot, so... Better safe than sorry, let's follow him. Hello. The Bennett Tower, it's through the tunnels north of here. Oh, that was weird. Hello. I don't think I've heard of a Gersaland. Ger Abandoned tunnels north of here, which we've already been in, coincidentally enough. Now is it just a straight shot north? Yes it is. Zet, I have a plan so cunning you could brush your teeth with it. You, cunning? I will show you. We throw the rock at him, see? Gork, he can just move out of the way. You go down there and push him in the way. I, it would be better if we put some animite out as bait then. Shut up, Zet. I'm in charge here, and I say... Alright, alright, for crying out loud. Quit stolen. Yeah, maybe if I put on my heart's bait, this chap would work twice as good. Close enough. Hey, there's some animite. No! Yeah! Was that a rock there before? Eh, oh well. <laughs> Oh, oh, I love this game. Oh, I love this game. Good, you're just in time, little one. I can't open this door. You will help me. Whoa! Go downstairs and open this door from the inside. Do not be fooling around. 
do it now. I give him like a Macho Man run. No. I will forget which one I gave the sound. Oh god. I get tired of waiting. Evidently. Earth's Aura. Now that one I definitely don't remember. Uh, Jim of the Room. Oh, reduces speed to basically nil. Strength is reduced, but. Oh, strength stays the same, but defense and resistance actually go up pretty good. Neat. Empty. 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 Eh? Where are you, silly monsters? I'll smash you into juicy green meatballs. Where's Grok? I'm right here, Gogor. Ah! The green monsters ran away like little scaredy cats. Yeah, sure, that's what happened. You sure know how to make an entrance, don't you? Door, monster, tofu, really doesn't matter what I have to smash. Gogor has completely completed his mission. Haha, <laughs> you're so weird. I'm exploding with delight. Excuse me, but shouldn't we go back to town now? Good idea. Oh, it's you. Hi, um, Dan. Hi, Dan. Did you find out what was in my basement? Uh, just kidding. It was probably just those two guys that kidnapped me. I should be able to rest more easily now that they're gone. Let's go. Ooh, Balusa. No, I don't know why some of these are open and some of them are closed. Kinda of drives me a little bit nuts, I won't lie. Bum 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 Gotta love that jaunty tune though. Bum 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 Yeah We're also gonna save here. It's always good to save just in case something completely lem beasts you. My sister came back. I'm so happy. Are you the one that helped save her? Uh, actually, well, I mean, I was there, but I really... Thanks. Uh, what was your name again? Dan. Thanks, Dan. Sis went back to the farm to rest, but she says thanks, too. Dan, I'm not trying to be rude, but why are you here in the underneath anyway? Are you lost? No, I'm looking for someone. Really? Who? I'm not quite sure, but... W whoa! Earthquake! Earthquake? Again? What a vicious earthquake. At this rate, the whole town will be crushed. What should we do, Elder? We need to do something, yes. Perhaps we should evacuate to the surface. We can't. It's too dangerous to wander around now. It's just as dangerous to stay here. Hold on, hold on. Let me think. It's just a little quick. What's the big deal? Shut up, Gogor. This is no time to be macho. Sis, what happened? Something just burst from the ground near the farm. Then this quake started and destroyed my house. Ow. Wait, was it what was it that burst from the ground? It was some kind of large black thing. Another shadow geyser? Huh? You know something, Flabby One? You had better talk. No time to explain. If the geyser is closed, the quaking should stop. Really? Oh, take care of Gruck. We'll go take care of this shadow geyser. Be careful, the quake is much stronger there. Let's go. Can you walk? Yeah, I think so. Not safe to, it's not safe out here. Come on, let's go wait in Gogor's house. Why not your house? The uh, his place is closer? Let's just go. I'm sure they're fine. I hope Gogor doesn't do something stupid. Be careful. Oh yeah, peachy keen, no careful like that's that's me. As you can see, there's another geyser. Saving because progress is always nice to be made. Sorry if I'm annoying people with that, but hey, 
when you're just trying to run from point A to point B and not uh, get, well, not stomped on. I'm, if anyone's doing stomping in this situation, it's me for the now. Slight paranoia, as things might just jump at me and do infinite damage. At least I've gotten more used to coming to this pathway. Now, this one is one that I'm going to explore a little bit more thoroughly, then probably leave just to save. Yeah. And then, you know, go back in. Wow, I've never seen anything like this. Careful, let's stand aside, Scrawny. This is a job for Gogor. Now, let me see. Aha! Uh -huh. Where's Gogor going? Beats me. I'll seal it with this rock. No, wait, it won't work. You can't. As I was trying to say, you can't seal it with that way. It hurts whoever tries to touch it. Whoa, the world's spinning. Whee! Don't worry about him. He ha this happens more than you would think. Anyways, how do we stop it then? Only I can go in because I have this glyph thing. As the core cliff. Then you must be... Oh my, this is not good. Don't worry, I'll take care of this, Geyser. Leave the underneath as soon as you are able, Kairos. For all our sakes. Kairos? This is the great mage's Kairos? Let's go, everyone. Yeah, that's... Alright, oh, this one. I gotta press buttons. Lots and lots of buttons. Excuse... Ugh. I only just heard that whamp, 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 whamp. There's only a few items in here that I actually care about. Yep, this is the one I was kind of worried about. Where I gotta press buttons. Oh, but there was wrong with buttons. Everything's wrong with buttons. Ah, uh, remedy drink. Hopefully, my Wasparine is able to take care of most of these things. For the Fang! Eat Fang! Woo! 54 damage. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be as worried as I thought I should be. Yeah. So, a lot of the treasure is going to be lo locked behind these buttons. But every single time that you hit one color of buttons, the other color of buttons will come back up. So it's more or less just a battle of attrition of going back and forth and trying to figure out which ones are the ones you want to use. On top of that, I'm pretty sure that I do want to grind here for a while. <laughs> I'm almost joking. Nearly joking. Not really joking. I will probably end up grinding here for a little bit of time. Whee! Who knows, maybe all the monsters I find will be just enough for me to level up in the first place. Adequately, anyways. Rune of Hope! Oh god. Ah, Shrike? Sh sh Shrike, I think it was. Yeah, I think it's Shrike. Ooh, that damage. Dan wins. Alright, that was... Shit, what was that? Rune of Hope, or...? Yeah, it had to have been a Rune of Hope. So there's two Runes of Hopes in here. Do away with those. Hit the blue. I don't think I need to go that direction again, unless I really want the treasures. I just don't know which treasures are in what areas. And no, don't ask me to try to follow along the walkthrough. That's going to be more pain than it's worth. See, what I really like about the Wasparine is that it's nice and fast. And it also just really hits hard. See if I hit basically anything. 
Okay, I thought the yellow was down. No, it's the blue down. Josh. Oh boy. Look at all that loot that's just around. Ah. Oh, it's another coil. I'm not gonna be shy about using moves if I need to use the moves. 19 energy. Hell yeah. Faster that you dispatch an enemy, it feels like the uh, fast, the more energy you retrieve. All right, if I hit the oh, hello. Wow. Well, well, well. All right, we see what we're trying to do. Wow. Ah. We are trying to open up the middle there. Yeah, 17 energy, hell yes. See, if you're good enough, you basically don't even need healing. Alright, if I hit the green here, I can collect this. Can't hold another blue leaf though, so I can't. Oh, it's a Grax. The Grax are pretty cool. They're also they're also uh, they also have a really fun name to say, Grax. Look at that thing. Yeah, I don't really nowadays I don't like the core guys as much, but I do like them for their kind of bug-like design. See if I hit the yellow one. I'm gonna hit the red. Collect this. A blue root. And hit the second of these switches. It's over here. Dun, dun, dun. Oop, hello. Geiger-esque freaking oh, switch. Always looked like the switch. Hello. Got a Titan ring. What is the Titan ring? Titan ring. Hmm. Oh, it increases strength by eight. That's actually pretty baller. Do I want to wear that? Hold up. I forgot what it was that the Ombor's amulet does. Does Ombor's amulet just a straight up increase? I really, really wish they made these a little bit more readable. Okay, you're right. It's just straight up increase of resistance. Isn't, the resistance isn't bad, but smacking things to death is pretty damn good, too. Now again, I could use this area to pretty much grind up a little, uh, a little bit more, like another five or so levels. I'm gonna try to resist, if only so as I can have a little bit of a challenge while I'm here. That said, I also don't want really much of a challenge here, because these areas are ginormous pains in the asses to get around. Just... Ugh. All sorts of can be no fun really quick, like... Coil! We are going to summon Tusk. Another Fang. Eighty-three damage. Holy balls. Alright, maybe there is such a thing as overkill in this situation. If I go around this way... Master Rune. Master Rune, I believe I had said it increases all of the stats of the creature by did. 
pretty cool. Thunderquake. That's a spell. And that is actually one of the two spells that are in here, the second one being Cave-In. Uh, Thunderquake, I believe, does damage to all characters, all the creatures in the fight. Is it? I don't remember how much, though, is the problem. Actually, why not? Let's try out a Thunderquake. Thunderquake! Literally hits everyone. For a little bit of damage. I think there are certain ones that will be immune to the damage that would be dealt. Uh, kind of like flyers or whatnot. Blech. Uh, rather not test it right now when they're the thick of things. Da, 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 da. God, 98 damage. I just increase his damage by like two well, freaking doubled. Scary. Alright, uh if we use yellow. We're already using yellow. If we use red, will we be able to get out of here? Yes. Uh, Alright. Yep. I need to hit blue. Which means I gotta come back up here. I gotta hit yellow again. And it was all yellow. And blue. Nope, not focus. Tusk again. Ah, I'm so used to the grind of that, I didn't even realize that that was going to kill the Okobo. Can't complain. Less energy used. Or maybe I get more energy because of the overkill. Then I get to reap all the benefits. Shit, I want to get in there. Alright, blue is open. I come up here. Yellow. Can I come back down here? There's more yellow. The blue. I gotta hit blue. I think I gotta hit blue. Let's see. God, there is actually quite a bit of loot to be found in here. There's a blue. Can't hold another blue. Blue. A leaf. I can read. Actually, can I kill the coil of one spy? They say yes. Ooh, Dan leveled up. Man, that feels like a thing that happens very few and far between. Dan leveling up. Blue sail. Hack. Need to hit the yellow button. And then I need to hit the red button. Ah, another Grax. And I one shot the Grax with just the attacks. Mind you, this guy. This Wasparine is nasty, mostly because I pumped him full of the stat increasing stuff, as well as making it so as he is just all attack. It's, it's not anything to just, you know, ignore, but good lord. And I really want to get Tusk up, because we are... Based on the weaknesses of some of the creatures that we will be having, we will not, sadly, be able to use... The fu- Oh. 
Rune of Hope. It's for defense. But yeah, we will not be able to use the ever so lovely, ever so nice Wasparine all the time because he will have a weakness to fire. And when we eventually get to the cold, we will. I don't want to say not be able to use him, but he's not going to be the most optimal thing to use. Unless his speed and power pulls through pretty much the entire time. Trike defeated. Dad wins. Oh. Stone Essence. Now, I believe this one is just a flat increase in... Uh, defense. Stone Essence. Or maybe it makes you resistant to something, I'm not sure. But that Stone Essence out the thing. Um, Titan's Ring, we have... Baloo Root, there's the Master Rune we already got. I think there's a Karmic Hope in here. And another Rune of Hope? Nope, we already got both runes of hope. We are only after one thing in this place. And the question is whether or not we can find it. I need to hit green in order to access that. It looks like that's not going to be a thing. I think I need to hit yellow. Things complicated. Alright, I have been this way. I think I need to hit. Yeah, I need to hit green in order to get into there. Red to get into this. Ah, oh, love it. God, just all that energy. Did I... Have I derped something fierce here? I need to hit green. Yellow's there. Green must be... Okay. Yellow. Green. Yes, I'm terrible at these things. Because now I need... Yeah, this allows me to go back through here. But I've already been through here. Is there anything else in here I need? Now you might be thinking to yourself, Darn. If the Thunderquake does damage to all of your dudes, then why would you want to get something called a cave-in? Because the cave-in, uh, strangely enough, even though its name in kind of indicates it, does not do damage to the party. <laughs> I'm now in runaway mode simply because I'd like to be done with this area before too much longer. Okay, that was yellow. Where the hell do I forget so hard how the hell to get through this area? I need to hit red. But I also need to hit blue. But I also need to hit green. I need to hit blue to get over here. I need to hit red so I can get in there. I want to hit that again. And no, there's no interacting with most, most any of this. How the hell did I get... Green. Kind of a legit stuck moment right now. It's not even one of those, oh, I'm stuck here and I can't seem to progress a little bit. No, I'm, I'm straight up stuck. If I cannot hit that button. I might also seem like I'm running around like a chicken with my head cut off, and that is because I am. Just if I 
Or hit blue. Yellow does nothing for me. Allows me to go back this way. Unless there's a green switch over here that I missed again. Oh my god. One of the reasons why I stop running away half the time. Because it always feels like one of those, alright, I'm gonna run into yet another fight situations. Okay, there was blue. Blue does nothing for me. What am I doing? Yellow does nothing for me. What am I doing? I'm gonna go ahead and call an episode here. When we return, we're gonna continue this little hell hole that exists in this pocket of the universe. And uh, hopefully we'll get to the bottom of it. And hopefully we'll also find the cave-in along the way. Thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you're all enjoying this series as much as I'm enjoying playing it. And as always, I hope to see, see you folks in the next video. Take care. Cheers.